We need to help Triss. Okay, Triss. She isn't looking good. They're ransacking the laboratory. The other mages. <sighs> I underestimated him. Hurry. Hmm. There we go. Laboratory. <laughs> Let's see the cutscene if that turning down the fr frame rate and it did anything for us. No, but I think it did. I think it looks better and more fluid. A lot more fluid. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Because Geralt, I think in the book, start does it once. At least arrows. What happened? Oh, Smashed uh, ribs, uh, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witches. <laughs> and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Okay. I will. I guess I. Mm, I will rest because I need to get my toxicity down. Um, toxicity level decreases when you rest. Um, and health increases while you do that. I s want to see if you want to do that. If you want to move the mouse independently of the screen, you have to hold shift. Swallow is still active. That's not for too long, I think. The no. Thunderbolt and Toniel. Okay. We can perhaps loot something. A wardrobe. A uh, swallow. A wardrobe. We can loot a wardrobe. I guess. Okay. But, uh, the swallow is by far the most useful. Or the 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 the, the potion I'm going to drink and the and the. That isn't going to be a sentence anytime soon. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. 
Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. <laughs> you will know. No. If you if you've seen my um mist let's play you will know that I am a sucker for storyline. That means I will Oh, something else I wanted to show you, I just remembered. That no. Um it's not there. Then I'll do that. Um what you can always do is if you if you have a sign already, um you can go back to where you learned it. Click it again, and then you will get a boost for it, like here. We have here the ex the um, blessing of the air, which means that this, the intensity of our art sign is increased by 50%. And Swallow just died, I think. Yes. Um, you'll know that I'm a sucker for storyline, which means I am going to read journal entries out. Because I think with a game like this or like Dragon Age, it's so much of a part, so such an important part of the game that I, I believe it's, it's a good thing to do it. Okay, Lambert. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The no, stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Where can I get some alcohol? Where can I get some alcohol? Okay, you speak. There should be white gull in a crate <laughs> in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. Alright, I will try and do most of the dialogues I can. And I'll do the journal thing when I'm resting, making that potion. Right, let's loot what we can. Um, alcohol, by the way, is our basis for every potion that we'll ever make. Um, the fireplace that is indicated there is, by the way, where we can rest. We can always rest at fireplaces. She says, uh, uh. "Poor woman. Um, pretty loud for an unconscious girl. I don't know. Gerald isn't exactly. Well, I don't know. He's a bit clumsy sometimes. So I think maybe he just accidentally kicked her. <laughs> no, that was mean. Um, what the hell?" What on earth? How do I get up there? Right. Is there another staircase? Or did I not listen or defending common folk? Inspiring. Ah, these pictures, yes, that's of course. Of course, of course, of course. I'll I'm a sucker for storyline. <laughs> I'll do that. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. <laughs> That's mean. Witcher George, slaying the dragon. All right. <laughs> Come on. Quests. Bank at all, kitchen, laboratory. I don't want to go to the lab, do I? I want to get upstairs. 
and I then remember another set of stairs. Or was there another in the kitchen? Yes. You cannot challenge the Salamandra. downstairs when I get there. I could use signs too, you know. I'm not a great art person, I'm more of an igni person. You'll regret the day you were born. They are stunned on the ground, but then you have to be a bit quicker than I am now. Or oh, than he is, depending on your... Oh no, I didn't mean to go to the ground floor. Go back in there. Do me the favour. Right. Um, yeah, there's a room. I just want to look at everything, um, because... I don't want to miss anything I can take with me and sell later on because I'll need it. Um, that was the white gull I think. White gull by the way is a very good alcoholic basis unknown potion. That's an unknown potion. Hell with it. Um, There remains too. There are well so much for glitches. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I heard something. That is one of the brilliant things you can usually rely on what you hear in this game. Other than in Bloodlines, where the sound is sometimes so glitchy that you can't hear properly. What's coming from where? Like, I heard something now too. Sword drawn or something. Like I said, usually reliable. Come on in here. Mess with me and die. Yeah, that's more like it. I killed all the bandits, really. Why would I? No remains of that guy? Or am I just having to wait because sometimes it doesn't show up at once? Right, okay, all enemies are dead, which means I can move freely here. Library? Anything here? I think in one of these. Yes. There's something I can take. Stairs to dress room, a barrel, a room, that's where I came from. There's another room. I'm going to get here later, you know. I'll do that now, because what I do now, I can't forget to light here. Okay, anything? 
I don't think you can do that in the second game. At least not as well as here. That you see really everything. I believe there were more enemies somewhere around here. But maybe I loot them all them all to me. Right, and here is the alcohol, a little knife thing, an axe thing that I can sell later-ish, and that's about it. Okay, um, I'm going to call this a day soon. I will, however... Do I need anything else? Anyway? <laughs> Bugger me if I know what I need. Got all ingredients, kill all the bandits, talk to Lambert. Alright. Ground floor. Okay, I'm going to talk to Lambert and then I'm going to leave because I think I need ice cream. <sighs> and that body is still there, thankfully. So, and Vizimir is down there too now. Which means that we're going to do a lot of talking. I am going to quit now and then... Yes. No, wait, let's do this first. Here, in the journal we have the quests first. We have formulae. A white gull we have here. What ingredients are in it? Um, we will... I'll talk more about alchemy later on. White gull has a mild hallucinogen which provides pleasure. What? which provides pleasure during the long nights witches spend at their fortresses, waiting out the winter. The witches make this potion using secret sapophrites, whatever that is, grown in the dungeons of Kaemora, and but it can also be made from commonly available ingredients, meaning some alcohol and this stuff. White gull is a very good basis for uh, potions, which means you can some some potions need really more ingredients than others, and the more ingredients it needs, the better the be the basis has to be. Like swallow is, I think, one that doesn't that needs four. That's medium. Some need three, like white gall. You need three slots, and bad alcohol uh, has only three slots, and some have five. So. Swallow it. There is no bird more beautiful than the swallow, the harbinger of spring. Even in the dark, even the dark mages who developed a formula for witches' potions appreciated the charm of this bird, lending its name to the potion that accelerates regeneration of a mutated organism. A mutated organism, mind you, you wouldn't want to give a human being this stuff. Tornial, in preparation for an all-night vigil at the, si at the side of a cursed man, or before a battle which is certain to be prolonged, the witcher mixes a dose of Tornial potion to boost his endurance. And Thunderbolt. We just take this patient before fighting strong, heavily armored opponents. Imbibing Thunderbolt causes witches to enter into a battle stance. While in this state, witches attack more efficiently and cause greater damage, while at the same time neglecting their own defense and becoming an easier target. I don't use it really. Um, characters. Vesemir is the oldest and most experienced witcher, possibly older than care more in itself. He spends each winter in the fortress and sets off on the road when spring comes, just like all the others. Despite his age, Vesemir is robust, robust and lively. Many youngsters could envy him his health. An excellent fencer, he was the one who taught me swordsmanship. First person, aha, uh -huh. I'd forgotten that. He raised many, witch many witches, including me. His disciples treat him like a father. Leah was probably the oldest, the old witch's last protege. The boy's death shocked him. Let's go to Leo then. Leo is the youngest of Kaer Morin's residents. He is not a full witcher, though he has completed his training. He was not subjected to mutation. Leo comes across as a hot-headed whelp, but is also kind-hearted and good. It appears that Leo is somewhat fascinated with me. He has heard the ballads about the white wolf and now holds me in high regard. Leo was killed by the professor, one of the leaders of the assault of Kerm on Kerm Moran. The boy was too ha hasty and inexperienced. I wasn't able to help him, even though I was right beside him. And that's uh, the first entrance we got when we first met him. That is when we entered alone with him, with where the groups of enemies were, and that is the last sentence that was added. So the journal adds sentences to certain journal entries that already exist. Eskel, the calm and res. Calm and reasonable witcher from Kaer Morin is my peer. 
wonder how we got that disfiguring scar. I don't know if that's in the books. If it is, it probably was and I've forgotten it, which is embarrassing. Lambert, the young witcher I met at Kaemor and sure has a biting tongue. He's rude, especially to Triss Mary Gold, who addresses with her last name. He is in the book. Mysterious mage. The mage attacked Kaemoran in order to steal the witch's wit secrets hidden in the fortress. One of the leaders of the forces that attacked Kaemoran was a mage so powerful that even Triss Marigold could not oppose him. The organization that he leads uses the symbol of a salamander. Professor. One of the leaders of the salamander attack on Kaemoran was a man called the Professor who seemed to be a cunning assassin. The other leader was a mage. Triss Marigold. Along with me and the other witches, Triss fought in the defense of Kaer Morhen. The sorcerer stood against, him, against the mysterious mage, one of the leaders of the assault. She was injured and lost consciousness. Ironically, Triss is allergic to magic and she can only be administered natural healing potions. I think she says that in the books. Ingredients. Carson Aquam, Ether. Yes, Ether is one of these basic little purplish indicated things in the formulae. Hydrangeum and Kebrith and Rebus and Vermilion and Pichil are the others. Special ingredients are some things that create special potions that we can make and take only once and that will give us um, more talent things. Location Laboratory. The famous Witcher Laboratory holds the most closely guarded secrets of the case. Mutagenic plants, hallucinogenic mushrooms, there were those that were growing there, I wanted to loot them because you can later. Natural stimulants and potion ingredients. It is here that young apprentices were subjected to the incredibly painful trial of the grasses, which only as a few survived, gaining superhuman abilities in return. And white hair. Two, some of them. Come on. Kemoran is an inaccessible mountain stronghold which has been the headquarters of the Witcher's Guild for centuries. The name comes from the language of the elves. The original Ker Amwirahen translates into Old Sea Fortress. I don't speak Welsh, so I don't know if that's correct. The castle's time of greatness has passed. The bat battlements and moat have deteriorated and a cold wind blows through the spacious halls. Currently, currently only a, few, a handful of witches live here, but ma once many young... Why am I stuttering? Currently, only a handful of witches live here, but at once many young boys underwent gruesome training along the infamous gauntlet near Kaer Morhen. The glossary is interesting to you. Men medicine. For centuries, diseases have plagued mankind, yet when John Becker subjected the power, of it, the power to his will, people gained a powerful weapon in the fight against disease. Mages study bacteria and viruses, the ways germs spread as well as genetics. I see here we go again with the um, with the uh, anachronisms. The research is used to used by mes by medics who set up hospitals and produce increasingly effective medicines. There are also magical potions available, no, capable of healing wounds and internal injuries. Many magic users, such as Marty Sodagaran or Vicenna, have become healers, traveling the world and using their magic for the good for others of others. Only rare individuals have the potential to become mages and many of those with this potential are doomed to madness. Unless the individual in question, also known as a source, learns to control the power quickly, he or she may end up half insane, slobbering oracle. That is why schools of sorcery were created, where talented children study for many years, acquiring knowledge and mastering magical skills. Because of the powers, mages are more slow, more age more slowly than ord ordinary people. They can extract magical energy from the four ele elements, transporting, transport themselves long distances and heal as well as kill in the blink of an eye. They have extensive scientific and political knowledge. In the latter respect, many mages are the equals of rulers. Monsters, we haven't met any yet. Um, since we haven't fought the Frightener. And the tutorials I'll just uh, check because I hate having these exclamation marks but I will not read out the tutorial. I'll give it a bit along the way, tell you what you can do when, but that's about all. That's interesting. The outside is a telekinetic force useful for clearing obstructed pathways or for knocking back opponents. Right. I'll save the game here. Yes, I want to override, thanks. And I'll be back later. Oh, something else I can point out. This here means it's dangerous. The, 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 the scratches along the uh, 
along that thing mean there could be enemies. If that isn't there, we're probably safe. That's mostly in daylight in the city. Goodbye. This was Savasha, by the way. <laughs>